These are God's chosen people. We are God's chosen people. And the worst, the worst you treat us, it's going to all come back onto you. You better believe it. That cup is going to be doubled and passed straight to you for treating God's people the same way they did in Egypt. And this is nothing but a modern day Egypt. Brought here, captivity, slavery, bondage, it's all happening all over again. And the Bible said there's nothing new under the sun. And everything has to play out. And of course, they're going to fight to keep us down. But they can't fight against the Most High God because he's coming back to save his people. Wood and stone, Christianity, Islam. We ain't no Muslim. So here's another thing too. If you follow Islam as a religion, just know that you are following another God, for one thing. Not the God of the Bible. Not at all. Islam comes from your Arab people. Arab people's religion is Islam. You're not an Arab, so why are you trying to follow their religion? They're just like a, uh, that's just, <laughs> that's just like a Buddhist or a monk trying to be uh, a, a Satanist. That's not their religion. We know who Satanist people are too, by the way. That's just so-called white man religion. They like that too. And Greeks and the Romans, you know what I'm saying? Black people are not Arabs. We do not follow Allah, Islam, the rock. We don't supposed to be doing none of that stuff. That's a false idol. That's not our God. Our God is the one that destroyed the, the Egyptians. Our God is the one true God, the most high. That's who we worship. So-called black man, Hispanic, Native Americans. Cause we all, the, we all descend from the 12 tribes of Israel. If you ever heard of that, we descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had his name changed to Israel. He had 12 sons. And out of the 12 sons, you come up with your black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, what we are called today, because our identity has been erased. The, 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 the Hispanic people got colonized, and now they speak Spanish. They're not from Spain. They used to speak Hebrew as well. So-called black people used to speak Hebrew as well, but now we speak English. We being the so-called Mexican people now, they are like Roman Catholics because of how they got conquered by the conquistadors, which was Roman Catholics. The Roman Catholics was the same people that killed Christ. So now you got your Mexican people doing Roman Catholic religion with the Mary beads. Where is that in the Bible? Where's the Mary beads in the Bible? That's all wrong. But of course, we don't know. We've been destroyed, as the Bible say, as a nation of people. So bottom line is, Christ said, my sheep hear my words. So if it's for you, wake up, learn, repent, and you better make it fast because any day now is going to happen. And when I mean it's going to happen, stores shut down. You better, they're going to make you try to take that chip. A lot of people are going to take that chip to try to eat. It's going to get chaotic. And then on top of that, the militia, the hunt, the hunt goes on. You know, they put it in the movies, the purge. The purge is going to happen. There's going to be a purging. And then throughout all that mess, Iran and Iraq, they're going to press that button. Why it's going to be chaos here in America, Iran and Iraq, uh, China, Russia, of course that's the time to do it. They're going to press the button. After they press that button, a lot of people are going to pass. A lot of people are going to be charcoal, smoke. Now let's get back into the scriptures. I keep going off a little bit, my bad. There's just so much, so much to talk about, man. And we just, we just lost. We just lost, man, and it hurts. We just lost people. We just thinking like, this is normal. This is not normal. So-called black man, Hispanic, Native American. We got to wake up to who we are. We used to rule the world. Why don't they never teach us about the dark ages and who was ruling? Who was King James? So-called black man. They painted him white. What do Christ look like? People don't want to talk about it. Matter of fact, let's bring it out. Let me show you what Christ looked like. And... Lord, Lord willing, man, somebody wake up. At least one person. But it's not for me. It's for you and your own salvation. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelations of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means to reveal. Let's find out what he looks like. Let's go to 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Christ had woolly hair. Not long, stringy hair like they taught us in slavery when they took our identity away. He had hair like wool. 
That's like the hair on my head. That's like a hair of a sheep, not the hair of a horse, not long and stringy. It was like a sheep. Christ had hair like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes was a flame of fire. The white part of Christ's eyes was white because he drank wine. It tells you that in the Genesis 49 and 12. He drank wine. His first miracle, he turned water into wine. He always drank wine. What happened when you drink wine? Your eyes, the white part of your eyes, they turn red. Well, let, let's keep going, though. Verse 15. And his feet like a to fine brass. Brass is brown. Brass is like the color of these um, things that's hanging up with all our names that, uh, that was slaughtered and murdered. That's what brass is. Brass is the color of a penny. It's like a brown, a bronze color. And then it says, his, and his feet like a to fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, it becomes really, really dark. So he was already bronze or brass or brown. And then he said, I keep burning in the furnace. It was really, really dark with woolly hair. And descriptions does matter because what we was taught was blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin. When we know that everything in the Bible, 80% of the Bible happened in Northeast Israel or in Africa. It happened in Africa. So where do we get a pale skin, blonde hair, blue eye guy from? I know. I know, I know. Raise your hand. Okay, you right there, sir. Well, we got that from the people that colonized us. You are exactly right there. Good job. So, of course, they're going to paint the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth to look like them. And Christ warned us of that. He said, do not be deceived. Many shall come in my name. And we have been deceived. He did not have blonde hair. He did not have blue eyes. His show was in a so-called Caucasian or Edomite coming from the lines of Esau, he was not that. Christ was a Jew. The so-called black man, black woman, the so-called Hispanic Native American, but specifically the so-called black man, he is a Jew, meaning he, sh he descends from Judah, the fourth son of Rebekah and Isaac. But nobody want to talk about that. Yeah, the people that y'all oppress today are the biblical Israelites. The so-called black man, he is the Jew, the real Jew, not the imposter, not the ones that's over in Israel right now. And actually, let's bring out some of the scriptures. So that's one, uh, oh, here's another description of what Christ looked like, just in case somebody say, oh, well, that's, that's in Revelations. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. That's in the very last book. You can't de defeat that, but we'll do some more. Because it tells you multiple times what Christ looked like, but throughout all these years we've been on earth, they ain't never talked about it. Never. Y'all ought to be shamed of yourself. The Bible says you are going to be shamed of yourself because you have inherited lies. The whole world's been taught lies. And of course that makes sense because the devil runs this. He deceived the whole world. Daniel chapter 7. No, Daniel 10 and 5. Then... I lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins was girded it with fine gold of Euphaz. Six. His body was like the burl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire. This is talking about Christ. His eyes, once again, like fire, and his arms and his feet. Like in color, oh my God, color is not in the Bible is what they teach us. Color is not in the Bible. What? And his arms and his feet, like in color, to polish brass. What? And his voice, words like the voice of a multitude. So Christ didn't speak all soft. Christ was a man, a real man. He was a lion. He's the lion of Judah. Christ look like you, my brother. Hopefully they teaching him. If not, everybody going to think they blonde hair, blue eyes, and he's soft and effeminate. Christ was not effeminate. He was not soft. Christ was the king. The king of the Jews, right? Let's go. Matter of fact, while we're talking about that, let's see what the father looks like. The creator of heaven and earth. How you doing, bro? 
All right. This is what the creator of heaven and earth looks like. The description of the creator of, no, 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 the father. This is what the father looks like. Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones was cast down and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. The father has hair like pure wool. Christ has hair like pure wool. Or Christ has hair that is wool. Who got woolly hair on earth? When are we going to start waking up? But you always heard this. If you want to hide something from a Negro, put it in a book. Like I said, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, you've not never, probably never heard this many scriptures come out, and I'm only in one book. Matter of fact, let's get into, let's see what Jesus said, what you call Jesus. Let's see some of his words, and let's see how we can, uh, let's see who he's coming back for. Yeah, this is going to be, this right here, hold on to your horses, because Christ tells you, see, what we've been taught is Christ is coming back for everybody. Everybody's going to be saved. Everybody's all good, and he's coming back for everybody. Well, let's see what the Bible say. Let's go into the book of mm, Matthew. Yeah, let's go to the book of Matthew. Why not? Or Acts. Oh, we can hit them all. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go up. So, what well, we've been taught is Christ is all loving, and everybody comes in. He's shaking hands, and everybody's cool, right? That's what we've been taught, right? He was very, like, nice and, come on, come on, it's all good. All right, cool. Let's see what the Bible say. Matthew 15. <laughs> 15 and 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. So this woman of Canaan is an African woman. And African is really not, well, I'm saying African because that's what you know it as. But the land of Ham, she's a Hamite. So a woman of came, Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. What? The Bible just said Christ what? But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she crieth out for us. So the disciples ran up and was like, get this woman out of here. She's a Hamite. She's an African. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. What am I reading? The Bible. This is the Bible, not my words. Don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. I'm reading the Bible. Keep going. 15, what were we at? 22. All right. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away, for she crieth after us. 24. But... He answered and said, so Christ says something. What did he say? I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did Christ say? I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is his own words. Are you saying Christ lied to himself? He didn't know what he was doing, but at 12 years old, he was saying that I was sent to do my father's business. He knew what he was talking about. He's coming back to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel are the people that's been colonized and enslaved that don't even know who they are today. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that came over here by ships. The ones that you still profit and make money off of still to this day and not give them nothing. God got a special thing for y'all. Ooh, y'all in trouble. If you read the book of Obadiah and Revelations and all the prophets, there's something big coming. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. There's a big judgment coming. And if you ain't right, you're going to get left. i say it again. If you don't get right, you're going to get left. Because we know what we're singing, swing low, sweet chariot, and come and take us home. We know who was singing. That was an old Hebrew song, old slave song, like Kumbaya. That's talking about the Most High. Come by here and get us. We spoke Hebrew, y'all. We didn't speak English. That's not our native tongue. America is not our homeland. This is not our place of rest. We come from Jerusalem. 
But yet, we still think that this is it. We think this is normal, we have parties, and we, we, we at home, huh? While we still getting murdered. When are we gonna wake up? When are we gonna wake up? Let me get some off. Let me get some off. Christ said that, yeah? Uh, oh, let's go to that scripture they took out the N NIV. Matthew 18 and 11. For the Son of Man is come to save which was lost. They take this out of the other Bibles. You got the NIV? Look up Matthew 18 and 11. I bet you skip right over. It go to 10 to 12. Matthew 18 and 11, it says that the Son of Man is to come. Wait, let me read it. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Now, if we go to Matthew 15 and 24, what that say? He said, I'm only sent. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. God's chosen people are your so-called 